This is Lord Burroughs? Welcome back. Joseph Kendo here. Located on the outskirts of the village, a hidden settlement was said to reside at the top of a mountainous ridge. This settlement once held a series of grotesque experiments, which eventually became the final resting place of an unworldly weapon. Today on the gun bench, we have the Wolf's Bane, the finely decorated antique revolver, widely remembered for its regal design and gruesome backstory, which ties into the origins of one of the Four Lords. Now that we have it in our hands, let's take a look into its treasured appearance and learn how this weapon became known as the Bane of Wolves. The Model 1851 Wolf's Bane had its debut appearance in Resident Evil Village as the first and only magnum obtainable during the story of the game. Once players have encountered the Duke at the altar, he will mark additional regions onto Ethan's map, serving as pinpoints to the upcoming treasures obtainable through exploration. One of these unclaimed treasures is labeled as Moreau's Hidden Weapon, and when the time has come for Ethan to approach the southern region, the passage leading up to this hidden treasure is indicated as a laboratory, but this gate is locked by an unusual mechanism, and as such, players are led to proceed onward. To unlock this gate, players must retrieve the crank used to operate windmills of the reservoir, then is sent back to the locked gate to utilize it here. Once unlocked, the aforementioned laboratory lies at the end of this path ahead, concealing a hidden weapon trapped inside, with the front door reading. It's locked from the other side. But by entering through a broken wall in the back, Ethan will discover an illustrious revolver, kept on a laboratory bench inside of a silk-lined chest. Upon acquiring and examining this weapon, its description reads, Model 1851 Wolf's Bane, a revolver that uses magnum rounds, incredible firepower and piercing ability, said to be effective against werewolves. And while the last phrase definitely catches intrigue, this bit of information is properly supported by a diary of Salvatore Moreau left beside. The Model 1851 Wolf's Bane was once a weapon possessed by Salvatore Moreau as one of the four house lords in the Village of Shadows. Despite his appearance, Salvatore Moreau once held the form of a man and was given the role to oversee the lakeside region of the village, which had once been home to a fishing community before it became flooded with years to come. Alongside this, Salvatore held the responsibility of conducting research in a lab that overlooked the lake's view, inherited into his will by Mother Miranda. His experiments involved the implantation of an engineered parasite localized to the region, commonly known as the Cado, by using nearby settlers of the village as primary test subjects in his research. The Cado held unusual properties, and when implanted into humans, it was capable of inducing the fate of a mutagenic response, or death. But those who survived underwent transformation into a belligerent wolf-like creature known as the Lycan, resembling wolfmen of olden tales. While the lichens were considered a failure as a vessel, Moreau decided to test the response of wolf's blood being injected into the subject's spine. Upon this very first attempt, it resulted in a far more ferocious beast, which ended up killing his laboratory assistant. And as a result, Moreau had it locked away in a cage due to its unpredictable violent nature, and was given its earned name as the Vorkalak, which is a translation of werewolf from the native tongue. The Vorkalak is the most transformed version of the lichen, with a human resemblance that's almost shrouded by long fur and a wolf-like quadrupedal stance. Their abilities are well beyond the limits of other lichens, and increased size only exaggerates their deadliness. Because of this, it's presumed the wolf's bane was created specifically for Moreau to euthanize these enraged experiments, which stands behind the origins of this revolver's name. The Model 1851 Wolf's Bane is an impressively realistic firearm and is predominantly based on the real-life weapon sharing its namesake as the Colt Model 1851 Navy, most specifically the second generation. Despite it being a 36 caliber percussion revolver, the Wolf's Bane is a cartridge conversion model chambered in a 50 caliber round and as such is characterized by an enlarged bore shown through its massive barrel and fluted cylinder both of which are completely unique to this particular Model 1851. But perhaps the most important aspect to discuss is its richly detailed presentation. 
It's customized with the finest artistry in hand, showcasing an intricate floral scroll pattern meticulously engraved onto nearly every surface of the gun, including the barrel, frame, and trigger guard, all while being paired with gold inlay to detail the defining edges of its several components, along with the intertwining line motifs surrounding the cylinder. This model is made complete by a set of carved ivory grips that feature a heraldic wolf plated in a gold relief, along with gothic print inlaid on each side of the barrel, which reads, Fiat Voluntas Tua, translated from Latin as Thy Will Be Done. Once obtained, the wolf's bane becomes readily equipped in the hands of the player, and after setting foot outside of the lab, the Vurkalak will have revealed itself from the corners of this settlement, encouraging players to take this enemy on with the perfect tool in hand. With the placement of three well-aimed shots, the Wolf's Bane lives up to its namesake by delivering increased damage against both lichens and werewolves, which becomes a very useful addition to Ethan's arsenal for the upcoming Stronghold segment of the game. In use, this revolver is single action in design, which means the hammer has to be cocked prior to each shot fired, slowing down the gun's rate of fire immensely. But luckily, there is a master gunsmith who can alleviate this issue, for a price of course. During your next visit at the Duke's Emporium, performance upgrades will now be available for the Wolf's Bane, and if you weren't able to obtain it from exploration, it will still be available for purchase after your arrival at Heisenberg's factory, sold at the price of 120,000 Li. And aside from performance upgrades, the Duke also sells an increased capacity cylinder for the Wolf's Bane, which allows for the further enhancement of stats beyond the limits of the gunsmithy. However, there is another attachment to be discovered, which can be found by searching the operating room of the factory, revealing a briefcase with the long barrel for the wolf's bane. With these modifications attached, the long barrel improves the magnum's destructive power, and the cylinder increases the base capacity from five to seven rounds. When fully upgraded, the wolf's bane becomes an ideal weapon to be used during boss fights, and is effective against more than just werewolves due to its sheer firepower, which will carry on to become the most powerful weapon in your arsenal, to the very end of the game. But use this gun wisely, as the bullets used to feed this beast are extremely scarce throughout the story. These rounds may simply appear as the magnum ammo, but are encased in a distinctively ornate container, decorated with the visage of a wolf placed neatly in the center. When examined, its description reads, 50 caliber magnum cartridges, packed with powder for a powerful shot that can pierce most armor, with tons of alliteration. If you ask us, this description seems like a missed opportunity to denote the Wolf's Bane rounds as silver bullets, considering the Wolf's Bane's unique effect against werewolves and its connection to the age-old folklore passed down through generations, although it's never officially confirmed in-game. But perhaps this was once the case if they were originally intended to be included as specialty rounds. Out of all of the decorative arms found in Village, the Model 1851 Wolf's Bane stood out as a monumental discovery in Ethan's travels, and is crowned as the most alluring piece in his collection. But in contrast to its elegant presentation, this weapon serves as a brutal means for execution, given its ability to obliterate lichens ever so lavishly. As the long-lost treasure of Salvatore Moreau, there isn't much else known about the history of this mysterious weapon who actually created it, or how it attained its supernatural effect against werewolves, leaving many of these details up for speculation. And while it's become an instant favorite among fans of the series, it's now widely welcomed into the line of memorable weapons from Resident Evil. So, that's it for the Model 1851 Wolf's Bane. The extravagantly decorated 19th century revolver, historically known for its intended use against werewolves. Be sure to check out our Kendo Gunshop merchandise. Our first two shirt and sticker designs are now available. You can find the link to the shop down below. If you'd like to help the Kendo Gunshop expand its business past Raccoon City, share the video with your friends to help spread the word, or feel free to leave us a tip over at our Patreon, link in the description. Make sure to leave us a comment on what guns from the series you'd like to see a video on next, and don't forget to come back and visit us at the gun shop for more content about the firearms of Resident Evil.